Hey guys, this is Chris from AndroidPit.com. Today we have the Android L release, whether it will be called the Android 5.0 Lollipop version or whatever. We've got all the details for you on what you can see at the moment. Keep in mind this is a developer preview, so it's far from finished. Um, and obviously Google had a few more things in their version that they showed us at Google I.O. than we have here. But stick with us, and if you want to get a taste for yourself, head to AndroidPit.com and we've got an install tutorial. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to notice is obviously the combined lock screen and notifications. So if we screen off, back on, obviously we already have our notifications on the lock screen. Um, so that's kind of cool. It means you don't need to unlock your device to see what your notifications are. Um, you can see here at the bottom, we also have, we have our slide up with a nice uh, sort of parallax effect as you slide the notifications up. And obviously you can slide to the left to access the dialer and to the right to go into the camera. So that's kind of nice too. Um, sliding up will open your device. You can also see the new uh, navigation buttons at the bottom there and some of the new icons. Uh, but let's go back to the lock screen quickly. Okay, so if you take a swipe down, you'll get your expanded notifications. So we've taken a screenshot, which we can share instantly, or we can reply uh, to an email direct from the lock screen, which is fantastic. If you take another swipe down, we'll see our uh, notifications will drop into a little card stack at the bottom and then we'll have our access to quick settings. So you can see there we've got some new icons as well. Everything's looking a little bit different to what we're used to in KitKat. Um, and you can see some of the animations that Google talked about at I.O. Some are very simple. Uh, some will take you to a little sort of side menu for notifications there. Car screen, that will bring up a little extra uh, menu there. And obviously you can tap something like Bluetooth to turn it on or you can tap the word Bluetooth to go straight to the settings for Bluetooth. So let's just turn that off. All right. So what else do we have? Oh, auto ro rotate, that's probably one of the nicest animations. If you can see it there. Um, then we have a few new icons up the top as well. We have a battery indicator, we have a new icon for the settings, and we also have one for your profile, which doesn't seem to have worked. Let's try that again. And if we unlock, no, it's not working. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at the app drawer. Actually, let's have a quick look at the notifications in here. Again, if you swipe down from the top of the screen, you'll get the same thing as on the lock screen. You'll get your notifications and swipe down again to get to your quick settings. Okay, so app drawer, what do we have? Not too much, basic uh, suite of Google apps. You can see there's a few changes in here. There's not too much in here. There's the new uh, settings icon. So let's take a look at the calculator for starters, which is new. So you can see the uh, adaptive coloring, I think it's called palettes, uh, that Google talked about at the developer conference. So you can see the, the status bar at the top uh, changes. It adopts a bit of the color from within the app that you're working with. So we've got some advanced calculator options there. Uh, what else do we have that's new? We can take a look at all photos. For starters, notice there's no gallery up. Now we just have Google Photos. That's interesting. And this looks much the same as what we already have. A lot of the apps that are on here don't have the new interface that we saw demoed at the conference. So a lot of these are sort of existing Google apps. They haven't been updated with the material design theme yet. Um, but as you can see, like with the calendar, that's exactly the same. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the animations. So everything sliding up from the bottom of the screen when we're launching, about drive. Same thing with a nice little sort of uh, syncing animation there. Google search opens and closes from the status bar. What else? Let's have a look at the dialer. So this is the new dialer. As you can see, it's uh, dropped into new tabs. There's a bit of color here that's kind of nice. So we can swipe through the different tabs and you'll see the, uh, the keypad icon floats to the side to stay out of the way, kind of the same way we see with uh, the current Gmail app. So that's kind of cool. And we've got caller ID up there as well. Obviously you've got access to voice search as well. So let's bring up the dialer. Actually, check out that. We've got a nice little animation there with the touch response. So if you put in a number, we've got, again, some nice uh, little animations around the buttons. Um, you can obviously dial, or if you go back, you can see Google now lets you know if 
backing out of an app is going to be uh, to save your changes or not. So you can see here we've got a back arrow and then we've got an X showing that if we go back, nothing is going to be saved. So that's kind of handy to know as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the new stock keyboard. So as you can see, we've got no outlines around the letters anymore and there's obviously a bit of a new look going on there as well. Um, we can do some swipe typing and obviously we get the word that uh, follows us around the screen, which you can see there, that's kind of cool. Um, so let's take a look at the settings. Google keyboard settings. Okay, so what do we have? Block of, uh, you can see the uh, touch response there as well as you move through each one. So dynamic floating preview, that's what that was called. And you can see too the um, overscroll animation, which actually adapts to which side of the, of the display that you're swiping too much on, which is kind of cool. I like that. Okay, let's take a look at the settings menu now. So again, we can see the, the change, which is a little bit reminiscent of uh, another device we've seen this year, which I won't mention. Um, but basically your stock Android uh, settings menu. It's not much new in here. The battery has a new look, obviously. We have the nice uh, L release logo. I won't, don't know if I can really call it that, but let's take a look at the battery saver. Okay, so now uh, Android will come with a default battery saver, which is kind of nice. So let's turn that on with the new toggle animation. You can see it actually dimmed the brightness a little bit there as well. So let's turn that back off. What else do we have? There's not too much else in here that's new, in all honesty. Uh, let's check out About Phone. So you can see we have the L release of uh, Android. And obviously if we tap that, we'll get our Easter egg, which is just a, a video test, I believe. Nothing terribly exciting there. Okay, so the last thing that I'll show you is the recent apps button. So this is the new cool sort of Rolodex um, effect that Google have got going. So the nice thing is that you can dismiss these by swiping, but you can do that anywhere. You don't actually need to have that window uh, foregrounded. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be the greatest thing for you or not, but it's kind of cool, I like it. Um, so let us know in the comments below what you think of what you've seen so far. Let us know what you want to see from the old release when it's released finally, what you think it will be called of course, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you have, and check out the app of course. Until next time guys, this is Chris from Android Pit, see you next time.